to the homestead coming at you with another gray water video so if you followed along you know I've tried a couple of different methods of gray water distribution and how I spread the water out to my trees um, what I've got here is my third iteration of the system which I'm calling my improved gray water distribution box so check out the playlist on gray water and you'll see the other versions of this I've done um, and I really think this is going to end up being the best version yet. Um, it's very simple. It's a 6 inch ABS pipe. And on the bottom I put a gym cap or a rubber cap and tighten that on. And the reason is because you have to close off the bottom somehow. And your other option would be a glue on fitting which would come up like that high. And that would cause issues with drilling through it make it too thick. So just above the cap, I drilled these five holes evenly, as evenly as possible at the edge of the cap. And then took my barbed fitting by male pipe thread to a female pipe thread PVC fitting, half inch, and screwed it through and tightened it to the wall of that pipe. So that's what's holding this in place. And then my drip hose will connect to this. So this is ready to go, but I do need to drill the inlet hole into this but before I do that I'm going to go into the orchard mock it up and make sure that it looks right because if you drill this in the wrong spot you can't go and undo that so let's head down to the orchard all right so now we're down here in the orchard here's the new distribution box and here's the inlet pipe where the old one was and this is the old one that was here which was just kind of like a manifold and the problem with this one is that it's too hard to get it level side to side, um, perfectly level, and that the front, these first two ones will steal most of the water and the back ones won't get as much water. So that's why I'm abandoning this system. So as with all things gray water, level. It's all about level. You gotta have level or the thing just won't work right. Especially if you get into a little bit more intricate system like this one I'm using. So I've made sure my block here is level that this is going to go on and I'll have to adjust that from time to time because it's just got dirt under it so it will uh, shift a little. And then I've gone back here to my splitter because there's a split right here for two parts. So I'm gonna, you know, I've gone back here and made sure this is still level and it is. So this is perfect where I want it on the, uh, the feed in here. This is where I want it so now I'm just going to mark and drill through it and then we'll place it through and that will be it all right so i got that on there it's going to take some effort to get things level but it's very important it didn't take long it took about five minutes and i just did it off camera but uh very very important to have your splitter even and very very important to have the block that this is going to go on to even and then you can fidget with this at the very end balancing out these uh individual um lines that come off it so now I'm going to show you the other angle of this so you see what I'm talking about so down there you can see hopefully there's one one uh, inch and a half line that's a black ABS coming in and then there's five connectors down there so we will test it and see make sure that that goes even so you can see from here coming in the side there's our double L splitter so that's a very important part to keep even and there's the old style one that are getting replaced and now we're going to go ahead and test this out by going on and turning going in and turning on the uh, water in the house and watching it come out okay so the water's on now we can see water is pouring out of these and it's close to even but not really that one on the far right is dripping out a little slower than the one on the far left but the good news is it's coming out of all five spouts so i'm very happy about that and this may be something that I just have to live with, um, but I also might try and fine tune it. And I've only got one, I've only got one uh, faucet on right now, um, but it's like a pretty decent flow rate. It's a kitchen faucet. So I've got one faucet on right now, and this is how much I'm getting. So when it hits a uh, laundry cycle or something bigger like a tub, it will definitely go more evenly as the more flow comes out, the more even, but just tilting a little with my hand has made it more even so this will be pretty easy to tinker with and get it pretty even but 
yeah, so far I am liking this system a lot. This looks great. The last thing I have to do is connect up each hose out here and that's it. So this is the system, the improved gray water distribution box. And not sure if the lighting's working, but you can kind of see, there you go. So it pours out of the inlet pipe and then each of those lines out takes the water. And remember, if you do this, to check in on these every month or two, or you know, as often as you can, and make sure scum isn't blocking those outlets because a gray water system, it does let scum in there. It's just gonna happen, it's unavoidable. And so that's that, this is the other side. So the other side, as you can see, has the old style one. And see, it's not balanced. It's just too hard to get it to balance right. That one just has a tiny drip, and another one down the way is just flooding out, so. Um, this looks like a good system so far. Again, like I said before, I'm pretty stoked on this. So then the last thing I would do is put a cap up here. I'll just put a loose cover, uh, nothing to clamp on too tight. It actually does want some airflow, so I'll probably will drill a hole through the cap as well. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm just gonna hook up the lines, but we're done. So hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out this project. Make sure to check out the gray water playlist on my channel here and make sure to subscribe, like the video, and we will see you next time.